Why are the repairs on your end taking so long? Why so long? Well, it happened at around Christmas, we are in February. And do you know that the process of engineering takes time? Sir, but this is a major thoroughfare, lives are being put at risk. Yeah, but you're looking at a, at a retaining wall that has to be built to certain specifications. Those materials are not available in country. And the ones that are available has to be built, they have to be prefabricated and then installed. There is a process for everything. So I, I don't take your commentary as, as, as truthful. You are, if you are on that road every no, day, sir, it's a nightly hazard. Yes, but you are also the one that says that we have to follow the rule of law, so we had to go to the House of Representatives to get the loan, not the loan, the, the, the expenditure approved. That was done. We have now gone through the process of having the Contractor General um, review what the submissions that we made, and he just sent a letter last week approving that. Um, and then since then, we have signed a contract with the person that is going to build it. And so there is a process, Jules, and, and, and you know that, man. So I don't know why you're coming up with this. So did and, you raise it with there, the CDB, and, though, and that is a failure is, of their project? And, and, and for your information, there is only one road from Belicity to Ladyville. Where else can we put the road? You have to go high. You have Very to go high. above. Sorry, it's only three miles from the airport to Hallover Bridge. Okay, you could, they, could, they could have built an overpass. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll have that proposed to cabinet. Sir, but did you raise with the CDB? You guys invested in a climate vulnerable environment. That road, specific area of the road was done in 2009. Okay, it was done in a certain way with certain materials that could not hold up for the time that it was done. So whose fault was it? CDB funded the project. Oh, I, 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 the, the material that was used had a lifespan. It surpassed the lifespan. It was just not the right choice of material at the time. It was the policy makers at the time that made that decision. And so now we are rectifying that by putting in the adequate material. Well, the so same that engineers are there. Mr. Bradley was there then. He's there now. But the policy it, makers make the decision. The engineers make no, the decision. No, no. Sir. Engineers propose. Policy makers decide. You know that, Jules. You think the policymakers had an inducement to make no, the wrong decision? No, I think at times we, as leaders, sometimes we don't want to listen to professionals and we have to learn from those mistakes. And we have to now listen to the professionals and then make an analysis and make a decision based on that. 